I came back from Australia in mid-March and the whole country was beginning to shut down and because I had been traveling internationally and been on a plane, you know, a little tube-shaped petri dish for really 24 hours, I thought, as much as I've missed my family these last three weeks, the responsible and loving thing to do is to go to our North Georgia cabin. So I packed up my dog and went up there for three weeks and I just started writing. You know, I was raw and I wanted to find out what all that was because we tend to put a lid on it. Um, and then John Prine died. And John was a friend and I was unfortunately not surprised, but I was still devastated. And you know, a guy like that gave us so much music in the course of his life. He deserved a song. In these times, each day feels like the next. But just tonight, my old friend Richard sent a tearful text. I can feel his sorrow on the screen. Wondering if I'd heard the news tonight that John Prine died. He seemed to pluck his songs right of thin air. They told our tiny trials and lives filled with despair. Complex in their simplicity, so honest and so true. Just like every writer wish that they could do. There's an angel from Montgomery who's finally taken wing. A place up there called Paradise, where even Sam Stone sings. All the Lovers, loners, have gathered round the throne in a mighty choir to welcome John Prine home. I remember a night in a bar in Cambridge Town. The band took a break. We took the stage and shut the whole place down. It was Stevie Goodman's birthday. It was eight years since he died. We sang, drank, and remembered. We laughed and then we cried. Just like tonight when I heard John Prine die. There's an angel from Montgomery that's finally taken wing place up there called paradise where even Sam Stone sings all the losers, lovers loners have gathered round the throne in a mighty choir to welcome John Prine Tonight I'm sitting here thinking about the stories that we tell And the blessed few who really do make heaven out of hell Say hello to Stevie, I ain't ready for you yet In the meantime I know you'll enjoy that nine mile cigarette from Montgomery has finally taken wing place up there called paradise where even Sam Stone sings all the losers lovers loners that gathered round the throne in a mighty choir to welcome John Prine home all the losers lovers Gathered round the throne in a mighty choir to welcome John. I
Thanks a lot. We're doing these concerts that are so virtual and, and I can't see the audience, they can see me. A lot of what I do, and this is something I learned from Pete Seeger, is involving the audience in the experience. And it's almost impossible to do when the comment feed is as much reaction as you can get. And frankly, I can't sing and read comments at the same time. So I might glance over afterwards, but um, I'm usually, because it's just me, I'm, I'm usually moving on to the next thing. You know, what am I gonna do next? And do I have to pick up a different instrument? And do I have to make any adjustments in the sound? Um, so I, and I'm doing the best I can to make this an experience that one, is fulfilling and for the listeners, and two, that I can really feel like I'm doing my job. This is a whole new art form. We're, we're having to learn how to do this. You know, we're all kind of mumbling along trying to figure out how to make this work. In some ways, this pandemic has been a blessing. And I'm not just being Pollyannish about it. It's introduced me to the notion that, well, what would it be like if this is what there was? What would it be like if, for any number of reasons, I wasn't gonna hop on an airplane every weekend? What really did I think my job was? And it was to create community. You know, the music is just a vehicle for doing that. Yeah, yeah, come on in. Come on in for a night of, you know, you might like the Hammer Dulcimer. Maybe you, maybe you know this one song that I wrote. Or maybe you raised your kids on my music. Or maybe you've heard of me and figure, I, he's probably going to die. I better go see him. He can't believe he's still here. Um, and then it's like, okay, here we are. We have a chance to create these amazing experiences for people. This particular time also brings to the fore a lot of the other work that you're involved in that isn't part of your income stream. I have been involved for many, many years with the Musicians Union. And, um, and in fact, I'm past president of Local 1000, which is for the traveling musicians. Um, and I also serve on the board of the Atlanta local because I can't help myself apparently. And both of those organizations are, you know, spending a lot of time reaching out to members just to see how they're doing and, and make sure that they know all the resources that are available to them and providing workshops for people who are teaching online who have to learn how to do that suddenly. Um, and for, um, you know, how to, how to apply for unemployment. So um, I, at, like much of the world, I have gotten really good and really tired of Zoom meetings. It is a perfect night, it was a perfect day. I got to write, I got to play, I got to sweat, and I really got to say, it'd be hard to beat, but I love to beat this perfect day, and it don't come often, so you better take a note, don't even blink, quick then you think that's all she wrote, babies get big, and the old get gone, just settle down, take a look around, Perfect kiss from the perfect girl. She stole my heart right from the start in this big old world. He was up in the mountains with the perfect moon. Nice and sweet, let it go, not a second too soon. And you really might have missed it. Oh, you know it's true. Hard to resist that endlessness of everything you gotta do. All gets easier, all gets clear. Forget where you've been, breathe out, breathe in, just be here. Was it perfect? In 
invitation. Poppy, come, let's play. The whole world stopped. Everything was dropped. It was a perfect day. Thank you.